we're now going to talk about element positioning. So far, all our elements were relative positioned elements. That means that their position on the web page is determined by other elements. Now, elements with absolute position can be positioned anywhere we want inside their parent elements. But I guess I better show you how it works, right? Now, back to our web page. Suppose we wanted to know which date this article was written. In order to do that, we can position a date, let's say, in this location here. And the easiest way to do that is probably with absolute positioning. But let's first start by create a little paragraph where we could write that date. I will write that right after the main heading for now. But don't worry, we will position it then later. So it will be a paragraph and I will call it just date. And let's say March 11th, 2015. So how does it look? Not quite as we want it, right? So let's format it to put it exactly where we want it. So back to the CSS, down here I will add a date class as you already know how to do. Now the first thing we need to do is to ensure that the parent element is a relative positioned element. In this case the parent of this p element is this blog post div. So let's edit it and say that its position, position is relative. Alright, now we can format this class here. So date has position absolute and not relative. And now to put it exactly where we want it, we just say top zero, which means that it's right at the top with zero pixels between the top and the element and right also zero, which means that there is no distance between the right side of the parent container and the element. And there it is in the top right corner, just as we said. Now it's not quite where we want it yet, right? So you remember this padding between this box and this was 30 pixels, right? So what we can do is to say that this element should have 30 pixels to the right side, which we move it all the way to this place here. And now it also seems a little bit too much at the top, so we can say that there should be a distance of 10 pixels. So back in the CSS, the top is now 10 pixel and the right, let's say 30 pixels. And there it is, exactly as we want it. All right, so this is absolute positioning. It's very easy and very straightforward. We just have to ensure that the parent element is relative and that the absolute element has the position property set to absolute. As always, more on that later when we will be working on our big, big website project.